Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You probably know that there's a number of ways to do batch editing or to sync settings from one image to another image in Lightroom. Now, one way isn't necessarily better than another way. It really comes down to the situation and or your personal preference. Um, one way you could do it is you could do edits on an image. You could go over here on the left-hand panel of the develop module and click on copy and you'll copy what settings you want to the clipboard. Then you would click on another image and click paste and it will paste the settings that you chose to the new image. Now the downside of that method is you only could do it to one image at a time, meaning I can't select multiple images in the film strip and paste to multiple images. Another method is to do edits to an image, click on an unedited image, and then click previous over here on the right hand panel of the develop module. And you'll copy the previous settings you just did to the new image. Similarly, the downside of this method is it only does one image at a time. So you cannot select multiple images in the film strip and copy previous settings to all those images at the same time. Now, another way, and maybe the way most often used, is you would do edits to an image. Then you would select multiple images in the film strip, all of them not edited except that one image you just edited, and click on Sync. And when you do that, you could choose what edits you want to copy to those unedited images. That is probably the most common way to do batch editing, real batch editing, where you're editing a lot of different images at the same time. I prefer to use something called auto sync. I don't think a lot of people use auto sync because it's not quite as obvious. Um, auto sync works well when you have a situation like I have here. If you look through the images in my film strip, you could see it's pretty much the same image. I just shot at different focal lengths. Um, Sometimes I might have waited for a bird to come into the frame or I took a shot and it was a little bit crooked and I took a shot immediately following that shot that I thought might be more straight. Um, often when I'm out shooting, I barely touch the shutter button, meaning I press it so lightly that sometimes I fire off two shots in a row. And when I do that, uh, you'll see a lot of times I'll have the same image like right in a row. And that's because I'm just double shooting accidentally. But anyway, when you have this situation where you have pretty much the same scene, um, pretty much the same exposure. Some I varied the exposure by maybe half a stop, but they're pretty much the same. Auto sync works great. Now to use auto sync, just pick one image that you want to edit. All right. Let's just say I want to edit this image. Then select every single image down in the film strip by hitting command or control a on your computer so you have every image selected let me make the film strip a little larger so every image down here is selected now over here on the right hand panel remember that sync button i talked about a moment ago there's a little toggle switch on it turn that toggle switch on and you'll see you have auto sync on now now any edits i do will be done to every image simultaneously so i'll do an edit like a pull highlights down, open up shadows, and you'll see that edit will propagate throughout the film strip. And I prefer to use this method um, because it just is a time saver. Um, I don't have to do anything after I do this. So I'll just, I'll just do a really very fast edit on this. All right, and I'll go to the blue um, curve. I want to add a little yellow to the clouds. And this is the way I typically do it. Like that, maybe a little too much yellow. But for the sake of this video, let's say that's perfect, even though it isn't. Uh, let's go to detail. It's like zoom in. I do this. I do something with noise reduction. There's really no noise in the image. Uh, detail. A little bit of vignetting down there. Let's go to lens corrections, manual. Because it's a mirrorless camera. This is a Nikon Z7 II. And, but there is a little bit of vignetting down there. I want to go to the vignette amount and go this way. Yeah. Take away that vignetting. And let's just say that I'll just, to be ridiculous, add my own vignetting. All right, like that. Okay, now you, hopefully you noticed down there in the film strip, as I was doing these edits, 
the edits propagated throughout the film strip. So every single image has those same exact edits on it. You could see this image here, best maybe the tone curve because that's a unique edit. So you could see that every image has the edits done on it. And again, I think this method works best when you have similar images like I did. Uh, now what I normally would do is I deselect every image in the film strip or all but one. And what I do is I just hold the command key on my Mac control on a PC, click on one, then click on it again so all the other images aren't selected any longer. And then I go through them. Now they're edited and I could maybe better determine which one I really like. And if I really do like a specific one, let's say I do like this one and I go, well, I do like that one. All right. Well, I'll come in and touch up the edit just on this image. Like I'll maybe push exposure up just a touch. So um, these are like the way I, I guess the way anyone could do batch editing. And it does have maybe a specific situation where it shines. And then probably in other situations, it's not as good of a method to use, but it's something that you should know how to do because it may help you. Now, one thing I do want to make note is that auto sync feature is persistent, meaning even now after I, I'm done auto syncing and I'm just on an image, if I select more than one image, you'll notice that auto sync um, toggle switch is still on. So it's persistent, it stays on until you turn it off. So remember that because there may be a situation where you have multiple images selected and you think you're edited one, editing one image and, and you're actually editing a number of images because that toggle switch is on. So just be aware that that toggle switch is there. So that's the way I like to batch edit um, most often. How do you like to batch edit? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.